Hello, I'm going to talk a bit about keys and key states and defining an elaborate hotkey. An elaborate hotkey is going to be a hotkey that has more than one non-modifier key and possibly a modifier key. And uh, the thing that you should know right off the bat before you are to try to use the key event args to analyze more than one non-modifier key is that the keys enum can only effectively represent uh, one non-modifier key and then it has um, bit flags for the uh, modifier keys themselves. From what I can tell, and you can correct me what, if I'm wrong, the lower byte order of the enum or the keys enum is for modifier key flags and the higher byte order represents a number that represents a non-modifier key. And um, it doesn't say that in this documentation here, but I read that somewhere else and I can't seem to find that page again. Anyways, you cannot use bitwise or on non-modifier keys like A and G and F. So let's take a look at this guy's comment down here. It's pretty interesting. Um, when I learned a lot about this stuff, I uh, I figured it out myself, and then I read over this comment, and it's just like this is a summary of what I've read. And he says, "Beware of flag attribute on the num." So the flag attribute is set on the keys enum so that you can use bitwise or on the modifier keys. But everything else, you really can't do that. It's not safe. You may die. And he says, "You cannot combine key code enum values in this way." and you can only safely combine shift control and alt and to be honest with you when I first started using the keys enumeration I thought that it represents bit flags for the entire keyboard state so just all of the keys and I really didn't know like I that would be a lot better if it just represent all of the key states but you've got your toggle keys and stuff like that and I don't know if it would just fit in with it. Um, so let's go back to the key combiner and see, let's just check this out. I'm going to go back a bit and I am combining E with F. I'm going to open up my form and I'm going to press E and F together and nothing happens but when I press G my code fires and executes. It's because E plus F using bitwise or amounts to a new key a new integer that represents a key and that's going to be G and that's why you don't want to combine these keys using bitwise or it's almost never going to work sometimes it does though and um, it's, it can be pretty ugly so if you are to make an elaborate hotkey you have two options you can get the entire keyboard state or you can get the individual key states and I decided to get the individual key states. It's just a lot simpler. Let's go to my uh, key states class here. So I'm using a simple DLL import. I'm importing a method from the user32 DLL called get key state. And the get key state returns a short and it accepts a integer, I do believe. And of course, this is an enumeration, so it's going to be able to be translated into an integer, no problem. And I just pass the keys in there to make it just easier to use. Okay, and here's a slight abstraction from this um, key state platform invocation. So this method here returns a bool to denote whether or not the key is pressed, and then you can just pass any key into it, any key uh, enumeration, and it's going to first get the numeric state and then we're going to use a switch case to analyze the states. So it's going to return false for 1 and 0. Otherwise it's just going to return true and true is just going to be pressed. And just ignore the um, toggling comments. Um, we're not going to bother with toggle keys anyways. Toggle keys are like the caps lock and whatnot. And here's where I'm checking to see if each key has been pressed. So just passing in the keys enum for the certain key. So if the C key is pressed, if the K key is pressed, and if the control key is pressed. And then I'm just going to combine them all into a condition and convert it to string. And I've tested this out. I've clicked all the, the keys and 
well not all of them but uh, just being silly with it and it really it's really perfect and that's all there is to it see you later